everybody. This is Mama Ro coming to you from Chicago. Hope you're having a good day, good morning, good evening, whenever you are watching this video. And today I'm coming on talking about Larry Reed versus Daryl Moore. So the last I've heard is that now there is a lawsuit. According to Daryl Moore, he was saved, he was served rather, not saved, <laughs> but he was served papers from um, Larry Reed saying that he is suing him. And they actually have a court date, a court date, a date in um, Ohio. So I know Daryl lives in Ohio and Larry lives in uh, Georgia. But that's where the court will be taking place. The case, the hearing, the trial, whatever you want to call it, be taking place in Ohio. And so according to what Daryl is saying is that Larry Reed and I think it said and others or and company is suing Daryl Moore. So it's not just Larry by himself. It's some other people that are involved as well. So we'll see what happens. Man, I didn't think it would get to this point, but I guess so. You know, um, of course, um, Daryl have to be careful. You know, you want to be careful, of course, of what you say. And I'm pretty sure you already know that, Daryl, because you are a paralegal. Excuse me. You're a paralegal, so you know that you have to be careful what you say. You know, uh, that can we don't want that to um, count against you or anything like that. So we'll see what happened. Um, Daryl had mentioned that um, he couldn't believe that Larry, that he punched, that he, what did he say? How did he put it? He couldn't believe that Larry would allow him to push his buttons to this point of suing. So we'll see what happened. You know, I think with, uh, especially with the recent, uh, recent allegations, and so I'm going to say allegedly to everything. Uh, with the young men coming out saying that Larry sexually abused them. I think that really caused um, Larry uh, to be very upset and um, and things of that sort. And so I think that, it, that, you know, with the guy, with the young men coming out with their stories is what really pushed him to this level. And this is just my opinion. Just my opinion. Um, and so, you know, it's just really something... I was watching, now this is a little bit going off the rail here for a minute, but I was watching this video, uh, this documentary, as a matter of fact, on YouTube. It's about four years old. That's what it was about four years ago that they put this out. This doc documentary was about the young boys in Pakistan and said how a lot of those young boys are raped at young ages of like seven and there are no laws in this particular town in Pakistan against child abuse or child uh, rape or anything like that. And I was just thinking, you know, it's really sad how uh, a lot of our young people and children are sexually abused. And um, in, in their case, the young kids' case, not just the boys, but the girls also, um, a lot of them, they don't have a voice. They do not have a voice in this particular town in Pakistan. And so they even interviewed one of the police officers in that area. And he said, we don't have time to think about and, and, and um, to help children. We're trying to stop the, um, you know, the people that's fighting against us. The, uh, the, the what do you call those people? The, uh, almost... Uh, I can't think of the name of, but you know the ones that that fight against the government and all that stuff. And so the police police officer was like, "That's what we have to focus on, okay?" And they even interviewed this p politician. He was either the mayor or the or like um, the governor of this particular area. He said that he knew about the situation with the children. There's a lot of children just on the street there. They've been abandoned by the family or they ran away from home or their parents or whoever passed away. And the children are just out there. And they and I'm, and I'm saying they start so young. They out there on the street so young. Um, but they interviewed the governor of the 
excuse me, the governor or the mayor of this area, he said he had no idea the problem was so bad. He knew about it, uh, the situation with the children being on the street, end up being raped or end up turning into prostitution. He knew about that, but he just didn't know it was just that bad. And they have no laws in this particular area of Pakistan, in this particular town, against child abuse or child neglect, anything like that. You know, and so going back to the story, I know I kind of went off the rail a little bit, but I just thought about that when I thought about the situation with the young men that are not coming, coming out talking about being abused by Larry Reed. Um, I think that, of course, we know abuse is a very sensitive, very sensitive subject, very sensitive, um, and I think that. It's just my opinion, of course, you know, I think that that is what, when they came out, that is what really kind of pushed Larry. They pushed Larry over the top to decide to sue Daryl. So, you know, we'll see what happened. We will see what happened. Now, with the charges, now I'm kind of, I think, I, I think, and I don't quote me because I might be wrong, but I'm going to say what I think I heard Daryl said when he was in the car. He said, but then he said he had to go back and read the rest of the papers too, so. But I believe he said assault. But then I heard on the um, what's that other what's their their, their little group Daryl's group the A team group on the um, the let me see your transcript lady I think I heard uh, defamation of character defamation of character of character. And, you know, so it's either, I guess it's either or, that's why I'll say it. it's either assault. I was kind of confused with the assault part one. But anyway, um, or defamation of character. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. Oh, man. Oof, this, this is really something, you know. Yep, but listen, guys, this has been Mama Ro coming to you from Chicago. Just want to put my two cents in. That's all. Just want to get my opinion and give you an update, but you probably already know what's going on with that. But, um, you know, people taking people to court and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. Something is serious. It is serious. So you guys take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. Thank you for watching this video. And um, don't forget to share, subscribe if you would like to. And like this video. Thank you so much. You have a good day, morning, evening, whenever you're watching. Take care.